Godot, a free and open source game engine capable of building high quality 2D and 3D games. It was created in 2007 in Argentina and open sourced in 2014. Like Unity, it provides an editor that allows you to create, visualize, and program the behavior of game objects. However, Godot weighs in at just 35 megabytes while providing a full feature developer experience that's approachable to beginners. Game code can be written in C Sharp, C, or a purpose built language called GDScript. It feels like a cross between type TypeScript and Python, and dramatically reduces the amount of complexity and boilerplate when coding game scripts. To create a game, you start with a scene, which itself contains a tree of nodes. Nodes are like building blocks that can be assigned as the child of another node to control the appearance and behavior of objects in the scene. Any node can have a script attached to it, allowing you to write code that updates the object for every frame in the game loop. You can then save the scene to disk and use it within other scenes. When your awesome game is complete, it can be exported with a single click to desktop web and mobile platforms, or to consoles like Nintendo Switch, PS4, and Xbox via third-party providers. To build your own game right now, download it, and create a new project. Start with a new 3D scene, then add a static body node to it, which is ideal for things like walls and floors. On its own, it's invisible, but we can change that by adding a collision shape node as a child. Choose a shape type on the right side, then modify its actual size by editing the values directly, or by dragging the gizmo with the mouse. It's still just a wireframe, but we can bring it to life by also adding a mesh instance node. A mesh is a collection of triangles that make 3D shapes look realistic. We can also make the scene look more realistic by adding a directional light to it, which will cast shadows off of other 3D objects. Now to add a player to the game, we'll create another scene, this time with a kinematic body as the root, which is ideal for objects that you move around with a controller. Give it a collision shape and mesh, then open up the project settings and go to input map. From here, we can create labels like move left and move right, then map those labels to multiple different controls, like keys on a keyboard or buttons on a joypad. And now we can write some code by attaching a script to the root object that moves the player when these inputs are pressed, create variables with the var keyword with an optional type annotation, and export them to make them public in the editor. Now override the process or physics process function to calculate a new position for the player based on the inputs pressed by the user. Now go back to the main scene and add the player scene as a node. Also add a camera for the end user's point of view, click play, and you now have the beginning of a real video game. This has been Godot in 100 seconds. Hit the like button for more short videos like this. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.